I want to talk to you about um, co-sponsors, right? Uh, so we are at this amazing event. We, we, we develop some relationship. We realize um, others' strengths and weakness. Someone find a deal, right? Reach out to us uh, because we have had a conversation about our capital raise, right? Now, and they want us to be a part of that deal as a general partner. How does that work as a co-sponsor? What is the most SEC satisfying way to do that? City and I have had a lot of discussions about this because there are some SEC investigations going on right now okay. on the way people are raising capital. There are active investigations going on. Thank God none of our clients are the subject of any of that, but we do have clients that have been issued information requests because they're investors in some of these deals. They want to know if they saw any emails or correspondence, whatever. So- we tend to take a very, a mostly black and white approach to it. And there might be others that take a little gray, but because the SEC is going after gray right now, I try not to show gray. Um, so let's, let's, let's use you guys and us as an example. Sydney and I have, uh, we found one, two, three main street and we think we're going to need to raise $5 million and you know, it's going to cost us 20 million. So we found one, two, three main street. We want to go ahead. We want to buy it. And we meet you guys we're like, Hey, these guys are cool. And you know, they probably have a whole different access to capital than we do. And Oh, by the way, we have a neuroscience here. Scientists here. My God, this guy can run our KPIs. He can run the analytics. He can use the software. So what we're doing is, okay, we're saying you guys would make good partners, but I don't want to just give you an interest just to raise capital. We want you to do some other things. We want you to be part of the management. So that is from our perspective, the best way. Now, if you're just going to raise capital, in my mind, it would be, okay, guys, we found the deal. We're going to do this 50-50. You guys raise all the capital. Cindy and I, we're going to do all the, the property management, the rehab, and the refinance, but you guys have to make sure you take care of the investor portal, all of the issues that come up with the client, with the uh, investors, and you know all of the financials to go out to the investors, and you're in charge of that. That's okay. What's not okay is, hey, Hutch, you know, I want you to go to all your Marine buddies and I want you to raise $3 million, which would be perfect. And I'm going to give you 10% for that $3 million of the, you guys call it the GP. Most of these are LLCs. and It's really a manager that manages the LLC. We'll use GP because that's a term that everybody seems to use. It's a completely incorrect term, but everybody uses it. So I'm using GPLP <laughs> okay. as if we're right, doing a limited yeah, partnership. I like that. <laughs> that's fine. Everybody just likes to use GP. No one likes manager. I don't know why. Manager, Sounds okay. sexy, I guess. Um, <laughs> but so I, if you came to me with that, I would advise you, Hutch, don't do that. Okay. The 10%, you're not personally guaranteeing a note. You're not going to have a controlling interest or even a majority minority interest. That'd be a large minority interest. And you're not going to be looked as a KP, a key person uh, from a bank as far as your financials. So essentially, I look at that as I think they may just be paying you to play. Pay to play is what I call it. Paying you to raise capital. And so that is a no-no. And as recently as two weeks ago, we had, it's really interesting. We had unofficial conversations with the SEC. So you can get an unofficial advisory opinion. It's, it's, it's horrible for you guys watching two le two lawyers on different sides, talk to each other without actually saying what either one of them wants to say. It's, it's <laughs> unbelievable. I'm Jewish. It's like asking a rabbi a question. And you get three answers. It's just the way it is. Um, you got to figure out what it is. So the SEC basically said, hypothetically, we think it's gray. Okay. Well, we knew that, you know, where's the SEC coming down on it? Well, lawyer from the SEC, this is out in the Salt Lake city office that is doing a lot of the investigations right now. Well, if it were my fund, I certainly wouldn't be doing that. So I just needed to know that because he, you know, he's not giving advice, but if it were his fund, he certainly wouldn't be doing it. That's him telling me, hey, I wouldn't have your clients be doing that. Mm -hmm. So there are people that are doing it. There are people that are getting away with it. We're coming into a time frame. I kind of, I don't want to say I've been preaching because that's not really what I do, but I've been talking about it on hours, hours, webinars and whatever guys. This is the time of excellent property management and asset management because those people that got into deals that thought they were getting X percent, if they don't see all the hard work going in to try to get that X percent, they're going to look to see, was there something funny about this deal? And there are going to be a lot of starving lawyers out, uh, especially right now that haven't had work that are just personal injury litigator type lawyers that will take contingency fee 
and we already see it happening. There've been five, four suits and another investigation. I think there are two investigations right now on illegal capital raising and it's amongst our groups, not ours, but this type of group, not, we're not talking about uh, Blackstone and any of those large, large, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mega hedge funds. They have their own issues to worry about. Gotcha.